Hey, this is Mr. Kelly coming at you from Bomb Holder. It's almost Halloween time. I'm just going to warn you, there's some special surprises coming up in this lesson today. We're going to start by looking at systems of inequalities. If you remember, Bruss went through this, and we did this in Algebra 1. Uh, an inequality uses less than or greater than or less than equal to or greater than or equal to. Okay, so... What you have to remember, well, let's graph this, and I'll tell you what you have to remember when you get to it. You always have to solve it for y, so we're going to start by subtracting 3x from each side here. We're subtracting 3x. We get 2y is less than negative 3x plus 4. I love writing it in slope-intercept form. Put that x term first, then we'll divide everything by 2. Please keep in mind that when you divide by a negative, you have to switch the direction of the inequality. Remember that, but here we don't have to worry about it because 2 is positive. We're going to get y is less than negative 3 halves x plus 2. All right, so I'm going to write out. So the slope is equal to negative 3 over 2, which means down 3 and go to the right 2. And the slope inter or the y-intercept is 2. So let's start out at 2 and then go down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. That's going to put us right here. Let's draw the line. Voila, right there. And we used a dotted line. If you remember, these first two here, it's not equal to. So that means that the line is not part of the solution set. So we need to show that by using a dotted line. Okay, with less than equal to or greater than equal to, see how it's kind of underlined? That's your reminder that you need a solid line there. Okay, next part. So now it's y is less than. We have to know which way to shade. So there's two ways to figure out how to shade. First way. Less than, if you have it in slope-intercept form here, and the y is first, y is less than, that means underneath, less than. These numbers are less than. Here's the line. We need the numbers that are less than, so we're going to shade on this side of the line. Okay? Now, the other way to do it, and Sully taught us this back in algebra, he told us to pick a test point. So we can pick, like, 0, 0 here and plug it in and see if it works. Now, I always go back to the original equation. If you pick 0, 0, which is the origin, that's right here. That's this side of the equation. All right, so 0 plus 0, is that less than 4? Yes. So when the line is drawn, one half will always work, and one half will not work when you plug in the points. So we pick 0, 0 because that's easy math. We plug it in. Is 0 less than 4? Yes, it, it is less than 4. So we know that this side of the graph is the side that we have to shade. But I would do it the other way. I would say it's less than you shade underneath the line. It's as easy as pi right there. Okay, what we're going to do is summarize the graphing part right here in a nice little table. If you get y is greater than or greater than equal to, okay, translation into words. I try to like think of a way like what does this mean? If y is greater than, that means y is bigger or larger than. So you want to shade on top of the graph line because the, the numbers on top are bigger. All right, what about if y is less than or less than equal to? That's the same as smaller than, so you shade below the graph line. All right, so what kind of line do we have? Well, if it's less than equal to or greater than equal to, it's also equal to it, so you include the line. Okay, use a solid line. I don't know a better way to say that. Okay, if it's just greater than or less than, then it's not include the the line is not part of the inequality, uh, so you use a dotted line. All right, so that's a summary. That's a quick review of 7.5 from Algebra 1. Again, if you need some extra help, you need to go back there. Uh, you can also look at 8.5, which is a systems part, basically the same lesson here. But here's Sully's uh, lesson there. We don't want to go back to that. Okay, example number two. Uh, we have our two inequalities here, and you notice that the first one looks a little different because there's no x there. Um, if you're confused, then think of this right here. Y equals negative 1. What does that look like? It's not. I know it's not an equal to, but think of that line. That's a horizontal line. I'm going to erase it, though, because that's not what we're doing. Um, and the second equation is negative x minus 2y is less than negative 4. All right, I'm going to solve the second equation right now. So we need to get the y by itself. I'm going to add x to each side. Okay, remember the, the middle of the equation is right here. I just misspoke. It's not an equation. It's an inequality. I do that all the time. Uh, we get negative 2y, don't forget the negative, is less than x, positive x, minus 4. And now we're going to divide by negative 2. Ooh, now we have, to, like, warning. Do I have, like, a buzzer or something I can do? Like, we're dividing by a negative. The rule is, for inequalities, when you divide or multiply by a negative, the sign, the direction of your inequality switches. So these cancel, we get y is greater than, okay, there's like a 1 there, so we get 1 over negative 2, 
So negative 1 half x, and we have negative 4 divided by negative 2, that's a positive 2. That was a lot of work to solve for y. I'm going to review it really quick. We first add uh, x to each side, and then we divide by negative 2. When you divide by negative, you've got to switch the direction of the sign, and that's why we have what we have. Remember, there's a 1 in front of the x always. That gives us the fraction 1 over negative 2. I like to put the negatives in the top, so therefore I get negative 1 half. That was quick. Sorry, did a little review. So we have our two inequalities here. Let's graph the one. We'll graph this one first because that's the one we're dealing with. Uh, we have, I like to write out m. m equals negative 1 over 2. That means down 1 to the right 2. And b is equal to 2. So that's where we start. So I'm starting at 2. I go down 1 over 2. And I like to do that a couple times. So I get a nice straight line. And uh, let me extend that. Okay, so what I'm going to have here, let's... I didn't want to, we have to graph the line. Is this a solid line or a dotted line? This is definitely a dotted line because it's not equal to. So what we're going to do is put a nice green dotted line there. It might help to use different colors when we do this section so you can see what's going on. And then we need to do the shading. All right, so the last equation here is y is greater than. Greater than is on top of the line. So when we shade here, we're going to shade on top. Let's use our shading skills. All right, how's that? That's real shady, man. That is shady. All right, so there's the first one. We have a uh, y is greater than uh, negative one half x plus two. That's on the top here, and it's nicely shaded. All right, the other inequality which we haven't shaded yet, y is greater than or equal to negative one. All right, so y is. Let's think of the line y equals negative one. That's a horizontal line. Okay, the y equals go horizontally. It's opposite of the y-axis. All right, so we're going to put a line right here. Is it solid? Yes, it is, because it's equal to as well. So let's do that right now. Okay, so I included a label here. Y is greater than or equal to negative 1. I also included up here, we have a nice little neg. And I put the label on it. I labeled it. You know, I do what I can. So we have Y is greater than or equal to negative 1. So that's on top of the line because it's greater than. So I'm going to include everything on top. We're going to shade the top here. And thankfully here on the screen, what happens is it turns black where it's shaded twice. Whoops. I'm going to do a good job so you can see what's going on. But it, you can see correctly, we have a green part and then we have the black part, which is shaded twice. All right, so the question is down here, is the point 6, negative 1 a solution to the system in number 2? So 6, negative 1, if we go through... And we look, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, negative 1. It's this point right here. So is that point included? All right, I'm going to take my shading off so you can see what it looks like before the shading. Is this point included? Uh-oh. I don't want to go that far. That point right there. Well, people voting yes, raise your hand. All right, that's weird because you're watching a video. So for the rest of you, this point right here, is it? No, it's not. It's not included because this is on a solid, like it's on the red part. The red part was shaded like this. It's on the red, but it's not in the green because it's on the dotted line. It's on the dotted line. The dotted line means the line is not included. So the answer here is no. hope that wasn't confusing with all the colors there. Let's look at the next one. Example three, we have 4y plus 2x is greater than or equal to negative 8. And 4y plus 2x is less than or equal to 12. You can kind of see some similarities here. What I want you to do, pause the video and solve each for y. And then we'll graph them after you solve it. Ready? Pause the video. Go! Okay, let's see what we have here. We're going to start with the red. I know there's a lot of stuff all over the place. Uh, I take the first one and solve it for y. I get y is greater than or equal to negative 1 half x minus 2 after you subtract 2x and divide by 4. All right, I'm going to graph this the way I would on a piece of paper if I didn't have all these fancy computer tools. So I want to start at negative 2, which is right here. Yeah, how fancy is that computer tool now, huh? Uh, we go down 1 over 2. So down 1 over 2. Now, I always like to put a couple points on it, so I'm going to work it back up this way. All right, as long as you're going down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2, that's good right there. It's a solid line, so let's draw that line. And use a ruler. Because the ruler makes it nice and straight, and you'll be accurate. All right, so now we have uh, it's greater than or equal to. 
All right, so the equal to part is why we have a solid line, but greater than means we're using this half of the graph. So this is how I normally do it. If I just have like one pencil, this is my shading part. We're shading this half of the graph. It's actually pretty parallel there. I'm actually quite proud of myself. Next example, uh, subtract 2x. What do we get? Y is less than or equal to negative 1 half x plus 3. So we're looking now at a plus 3. That's up here. And it's the same slope, down 1 over 2, down 1 over 2. All right, let's put the line on there. Okay, got the line. And now we're looking at a less than situation. Y is less than or equal to. Okay, again, the equal to part means it's a solid line. The less than part means I go under that. All right, so I'm going under right here. And actually it goes all the, I mean, the green part goes on the entire graph. Beautiful. This is like a Van Gogh piece of art. All right, so what we have here is two, uh, well, we have one part in the middle, but we have two lines. The shaded regions intersect. They kind of overlap in this parallel line. It's parallel because the slopes are the same. They both have negative one half. So you get this middle part here. Now, to help us understand the, uh, the solution set, the solution set is the set of all the answers. Then what we're going to do is put an S in here and we can circle it. This is a solution set. And that'll tell your teacher these are where the answers are. That's the part that's double shaded. All right, so that one's easy enough. Let's look at example four. Number four looks awesome. Why don't you try it by yourselves? This is one for you to practice. So pause the video, do number four, and then we'll bring it back together. Go! Pause that video. Okay, so here's what I get after we solve each equation for y. We get a nice y is greater than negative x plus 3. Uh, we subtracted x from each side. For the green equation here, we subtracted 2 from each side. So you look, they're very similar. They have the same slope. So they're going to be parallel. How is this going to work out for us? Hmm, let's grab the red one. y is greater than. It's not equal to, so we need a dotted line. Let's do that. We're going to start at 3. That's the uh, y-intercept there. Let's do that. All right, starting at 3. Perfect. Nice. And then we go down 1 over 1. So it's the line that goes right through here. Let's draw that line down. Now, as I said, it's not equal to. So if I were to put a solid line, I would be wrong. So we need to fix that and make that line a little dashed. Perfect. So now what? We're looking at the... Uh, what do we got here? Greater than, greater than means on top of the line. Which side is on top? Well, on top of it's on All right, so top side is on top. I don't know how to really explain that. Like, if you go up from the line, that's on top. All right, so here's our shaded inequality for the red line. Let's look at the green line. We have less than negative 1 over 1. We have B is negative 2, so we start down here. It's the same type of line. You go down 1 over 1. All right, so let's put a line there for that. No problem there. All right, so we're looking in the second or second inequality, we're looking at a less than, so less than's underneath the line. So what's going to happen here? Hopefully you got this. You go underneath the line, you're going to have these parallel lines where nothing intersects. They're the middle parts wide. I mean, nothing touches each other because it's parallel. So in this one, we have what's called, did you guess it? No solution. That is amazing. Let's do number five, and then we're all done. When I say let's, I mean actually you guys. So pause the video, do number five, and answer the question at the bottom. Is the point two three a solution of number five? So pause the video, do number five. Go! All right, I got halfway through this, and I thought, you know what? They probably need to see this. Let's do the first one. X is greater than or equal to zero. That is a vertical line. We're talking vertical here, up and down, and it's greater than or equal to zero. All right, so this is the line x equals zero. It's a vertical line. It's actually also called the y-axis, but that goes up and down. All right, remember, this is x equals one, x equals two, x equals three. Every point on this line has an x value of zero. That's why this is the line x equals zero. Oh, that makes sense now. All right, so we need greater than. So which, you can't do on top of here. So which side is greater than? It's either the right-hand side or the left-hand side. It's actually the right-hand side. So this side, we're shading this half of the graph. That's the first inequality. X is greater than or equal to. By the way, we used a solid line because it's also equal to. All right, now to the green equation. 
that's where I was in the middle of it. I was like, minus 5x, minus 5x. These are going to cancel. We're going to get negative 2y is less than, we have negative 5x plus 4. This is just so nasty with the negatives. And then we have to divide by a negative. And when you divide an inequality by a negative, you have to switch the direction. So this gets nasty. So we're going to get y is greater than 5 halves x. And this is going to be negative. So we write minus 2. I'm writing my slope out. Slope equals 5 over 2. And the y-intercept is negative 2. So let's go down 2. Put a point. From here, we need to go up 5 to the right 2. So up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 over 2. That puts us right here. Let's draw the line. Did you make it a dotted line? I made mine dotted. Don't look at me. All right, so we need to go uh, up 5 over 2. We get this line right here, and it's greater than. So we are on top of this line. So we're looking right here. So this is kind of confusing. What I'm going to do is put like a little solution set right here. This is the part that's double shaded. So now the question of the day. Is the point 2, 3 a solution of number 5? This one's number 5 right here. So 2, 3, you go over 2, up 1, 2, 3. It's this point right here. Is that a solution? All right, well, it's definitely in the purple. So we're good with the purple. But on the green, it's not. It's on the dotted part. And that, if you recall, means not part of the solution. It's not equal to. So the answer to here is is no and when you can put a little frowny face if you want with a little nose but everybody's going to know what you mean if you just say no hey that's it that's all you have for uh, systems of linear inequalities this is the same as algebra 8.5 except we're going to crank it up a notch with maybe some uh, more solving for y and and things like that but that's about it so voila you're done with unit four if you can pass this mastery check do the review check your answers and then take the test this is mr kelly and bomb holder remember it's nice to be important. Ah! It's more important to be nice. Sue! So